Welcome to some Science From Home with Dr Jo. Now today we're going to have a look at things to do with sound and our hearing. Now I've got four glasses in front of me here. Uh, they're all the same size, they're the same type of glass. And what I'm going to do is I've got a jug of water and I'm going to pour different amounts of water into the jug, into the, the glasses. So I'm going to put a little bit in the first one, a bit more in the second one, fill it kind of about halfway into the third, uh, and then I'm going to fill up this glass at the end here. Just pop a little bit extra in that one too. So I've got four glasses with different amounts, different volumes of water in them. I've got one that's almost full, one that's kind of three quarters full, just under half, and then a little tiny bit in this one. And I've also got a metal spoon. Now if I gently tap the glass, I don't want to break it, with a metal spoon, it makes a noise. And the glasses with different amounts of water in them will make different noises. Listen. You can hear there's a difference in the pitch, the frequency of the noise, so how high pitched it is. Now in the glass with not very much water in it, the glass is vibrating quite quickly. And so we get quite a high pitched noise. In the glass that's full of water, it's slowing down the vibrations of the glass and we get a lower pitched sound. So we can get a high pitch and a low pitch. And it's changing the amount of glass there is to vibrate. So it's changing the sound, the pitch of the sound. So if you listen, as we go from a little amount of water to a lot of water, we're going to change the pitch as we go along. So we go from high pitched to low pitched. And we could use these to make a musical instrument of different pitched sounds. Why don't you have a go at home, see if you can put different amounts of water in, different, in the same size glasses, or even the same amount of water in different size glasses, and see if there's a difference in the pitch. Something else you could try is to do, actually do it inside glass bottles, and then blow over the top of the bottles. In that situation, it's not the glass that's vibrating, but the air that's in the bottles. So the amount of water will still change the pitch, but have a think about if it's changing it in the same way or a different way. Thanks for doing some science from home with me. Bye.